So here we go. It looks like Bill Maher is at it again. Now, honestly, I don't really agree with much of what this guy has to say, but you got to give him credit. Lately, he's really been calling out the craziness on the left side of things. And this time he's going to be doing it to scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I say that loosely, the term scientist. He may have once been prominently considered a legitimate scientist, maybe more than a decade ago. But recently, his science has been taking a backseat as he's been cowtailing to the liberal ideology. He's been saying some pretty strange stuff. I'm not going to go into all of it, but just know that he's really not basing some of his ideas in facts and science and merit, but he's looking at ideological values. And here he is going to get schooled by Bill Maher, who is, of course, a fellow Democrat. And you know you've fallen off the deep end when Bill Maher is calling you out. So I'm going to show you this clip. And it's based on the fact that the universities and colleges around the United States and really around the world are no longer places of free ideas and free speech, but they've been places of censorship, brainwashing, the fact that you can't have any idea unless it's the idea presented in the college or university or they're simply going to shut you down I, surely I, I, there's a portfolio of jokes would, that would still if, work on a college campus surely i would hope not from what maybe maybe some college campuses you, the ones you read about are insane you've given up on an entire generation and i have you don't given, know how to make I have them given laugh. up on any place that doesn't even remotely attempt to believe in free speech and thinks that anything that, that they hear that they don't like, that they don't agree with, is violence. These people are nuts, and you should be calling them out. Somebody like you, who has standing with kids, should be not I joining do when, them. When you a taking, you're doing what, to it. You're yes. doing what parents do. You're What's taking that? the path of least resistance, I, and therefore hurting the kids and yourself. Parents ruin both their lives. They ruin their fucking spoiled kids' lives, and they ruin yeah. their own lives because the kids rule the roost. So that's what you're doing on a national level. Now, because of things like this, some are starting to spread the idea that Bill Maher has been red-pilled. I am not one of those. I think that Bill Maher is basically just staying where Bill Maher has always been. But we are seeing so many people falling off the deep end of lefty liberalism that he has now actually become more conservative in the light of this. And here, he's directly calling out Neil deGrasse Tyson because as a so-called intellectual, he has been silent about the censorship, the lack lack of freedom of speech and ideas on universities and campuses. Now, Neil deGrasse Tyson is so full of himself, I can barely even listen to the guy anymore. Even when he's making legitimate points, I just really can't stand his attitude when he talks about things. And here, as he's getting schooled by Bill Maher, it seems like he's accepting of the idea, but I'd like to see him put that into action. I highly doubt he will, because once again, he is going to cowtail to the liberal ideology. He will not put himself out there like that, because he himself doesn't want to get canceled, which right there shows you the problem. He knows if he does it, he will be canceled. He knows if he does it, he will be censored. If he goes out and he says something that they don't like, they will squash him, they will eliminate him, and therein is the problem, which is exactly what Bill Maher is bringing up. You can't say anything that is not lockstep with the liberal ideology. If you coast off even slightly, the daggering eyes will take a look at you and they'll get ready to burn you down the moment they see you step out of line. Now we're getting a lot of these Bill Maher clips coming out because he is calling out a lot of these lefties. But before too many of you start thinking that he's actually getting it, I wanted to show you one of his recent clips just to bring everyone back to reality. Well, but since everything in America is about to change in a very fundamental way, what the <laughs> Rules are about to go out the window. Tuesday is election day, and I know I should probably tell you to vote in what, honest to God, is really the most important election ever. So, okay, yes, you should vote. And it should be for the one party that still stands for democracy preservation. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't need to play the rest of this clip. You know he's talking about voting for Democrats here. So he just gets done saying that they're censoring, squashing ideas, freedom of speech, but they're still the ones that are fighting for democracy. It's obviously ridiculous. So this guy clearly isn't red-pilled, which makes the fact that he's taking down fellow left Democrats that much more insane. When a guy like this can get out there and tell you, hey, you need to vote because there's only one party out there that's the party that's of freedom and democracy, but at the same time, he's calling out these people. 
it has to open your eyes to how far off the deep end the Democrat Party has really gone when this guy is becoming sort of a conservative voice because he is no conservative. So I found this interesting. What are your thoughts? What do you think about Neil deGrasse Tyson? Is he even a scientist anymore at this point? What about Bill Maher? Do you think I have it wrong? Do you think he's been red pilled? Do you think he's becoming more conservative or you think I'm right on that as well that no, he's basically staying in his lane, but his lane is so far conservative now because the Democrats have really switched off into a different lane completely. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one.